damn, my student Dysonix is just burning up my backend mastermind group with these crazy melody patterns. Oh, hey, didn't see you there. Hey guys, today I'm gonna teach you four melody patterns that changed my life. Now, melody patterns are a bit different than the chord patterns that I teach on this channel because melody patterns are based on rhythmic form and phrases. And you'll see what that means in just a moment. I've listened to thousands and thousands of melodies produced by noob producers and thousands of thousands of melodies produced by expert producers. And the number one factor that separates a noob melody and an expert melody is the pattern structure. Newer producers and artists don't follow a good pattern structure when writing melodies. But the good news is, by the end of this video, I guarantee that you'll know how to structure your melody patterns like a pro. Let's get into it. The first melody pattern that I want to show you guys is an AA melody pattern. What's cool about this pattern is it's super simple and you only need to build one section of notes and you can loop that section of notes forever. Here's our section of notes. We could take this now, and just loop it forever, and it'll always work. So here we have an A section, and then our second A section right here. But really, we can loop this forever, and it'll always sound good and complete. Now I know it's very simple, but these type of melodies, they're great to add ear candy and layers to your music, and they're great for tension building sections of your songs. What we could do now is we can evolve this into an A, B section melody, or in other words, a nice call and response type of melody. And this is where our melody really comes to life and starts to sound like a lead. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take the second A section here and change it. So you can hear how we have the call section and then we resolve with this response section like this. This is actually called a cadence when a melody resolves an entire phrase, which a phrase is when the bass line loops one full time. Now what we could do is we can evolve this melody into an AB, AB section. And this melody would just sound like this. And this melody is unresolved because it just repeats everything that happened over here. But watch this. What we could do now is we could resolve this entire melody here by having an A section, a B section, another A section, then we're going to turn this into a C section by having it be unique. So now let's go ahead and listen to this A, B, A, C melody. Now you can feel that sense of resolution right here because this melody now has two cadences. It has a more mild cadence right here but it goes into the second half of the melody here. And then we have a stronger cadence here that is clearly the end of this melody. Now, I'm gonna show you how to step this up even farther. We're gonna build an entire section of a song right here. Some pop songs have choruses that are two bass line loops long, but other songs have choruses and verses that are four loops long. So we have to figure out a melody that works for that length of time. And the cool thing about A, B, A, C melodies is that they could do that. But now that we're, our melody is this long, we have to start grouping stuff together and continue evolving this pattern. So now instead of A, B, A, C, and so on and so forth, we have to group this together. And this is an A pattern now. This is a B. This is an A because it matches over here. And then we have the B section again. But what we could do is resolve this entire melody 
and create an A, B, A, C melody. Or in other words, create a response to the entire melody, which is now like a call. So let's go ahead and just make this last section a little different. really like all, all I have to do is just make those notes all the same it actually works out quite nice so if we listen to this what I want you to listen for and understand is that halfway through this sequence it's gonna sound like we resolve right here but since we keep going when we get here I want you to notice how this resolution is even stronger because I keep hitting those down notes to really resolve the melody or close the call and response. Oh, yeah, that was nice. Yeah. If you guys enjoyed this video and would like to learn more about every element of music production, you can join my EDM Bootcamp. I have a link for you at the top of the description below. My EDM Bootcamp is not just a self-paced course that teaches you all the elements of music production, but it is also an entire back-end mastermind group where you can get unlimited feedback on your music from me and ask me any music production question that you wish. If that sounds like something you're into, like I said, there's a link at the top of the description below. And stay tuned for more.